Welcome to Zoom O'Clock with your host, Tessie Anthony de Nassau. This podcast brings you enlightening discussions with leading experts and public figures directly to your ears. Hi, Jules. Hello, Tessie. How are you? I am so excited to talk to you. Wow, this is so wonderful. Well, I'm excited. You, uh, this whole experience is amazing to be able to have technology so that we can connect and just spread some light and spread some joy. So thank you for, for creating this so that we can, we can communicate and we can talk. Of course, of course. So you're all the way in LA, which I is am. amazing. For you, it's now what? Almost 10 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. which is beautiful that you make the time to talk to me briefly. Of so, course. So for everyone, for people who do not know you yet, how I see you, you are just the most inspirational entrepreneur I know. You have done so many projects in the young life you are, and um, you know, you're just spreading energy. Um, you have been in choreography, you have created um, Kinergy, something really, really special. Um, but tell me in your words, who is Jules? How did you get to where you are now and wow. how can people access this energy? Thank you, first and foremost. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Julianne. I go by Jules or Jaybird, Juju, whatever you guys want to call me. Um, I am a dancer first and foremost, but I'm, I'm in entertainment and I've you know, been a singer and an actress and a dancer, but dance has always been my superpower. And when I realized that when you combine the, the, the beauty of movement, breath, and imagination, like we had when we were children, and you combine all three of those things, we've really um, found a way to access our like authentic power and our source of energy. And so, yeah, I created um, a company called Kinergy which is about kin represents tribe and family and connection, um, movement, kinesthetic, and, um, and then energy. And so when we combine that, that's what Kinergy represents. And it's really just a platform for um, people to feel engaged in a safe and environment where they feel like they're, they're moving their bodies. So maybe it's a workout, but really it's more of a mindful experience where it helps people connect back to their most truest self, their truth. And then when you can connect to yourself, you can then relate and understand to the, the people around you. And then when that can happen, you can really experience the world in its most true and pure form, which is love. And that's the mission of Kinergy is really just to connect back to self, relate to others and experience the world. Wow, that's just so beautiful. And I had had the privilege to have a live session with you in London which mm -hmm. was just mind blowing. And I remember that I was, I was almost holding back the tears at the end by the meditation because it was just so overwhelming when you actually, when you're able to open all of these channels up in mm -hmm. your body, because um, explain to us, you're working with different channels, right? You're using water and herb and so on. What is all of this about? Yeah, so we use the natural earth elements, earth, fire, water, air, to connect us to our most natural state. You know, we are nature by nature, and we don't have to go outside of ourselves to connect to ourselves. In fact, when we go outside of ourselves, that's something that's not sustainable when we're trying to grasp something that we already have within us. And so that's where we activate our imagination and use the elements because it's familiar. It's something that we know and it's also nourishing. So we, we use the elements, but at the same time, the body is so important. Our body is our language. We speak with our body. Um, you know, there's, there's so much um, information that is stored uh, through, uh, lifetimes. So a lot of people hold trauma. A lot of people hold, um, memories that aren't serving them. And so what happens is when we move our body and we connect to that energy source, whether it's through the, the elements or through, um, our own, you know, vibrational energetic channels, we can actually shift and transform and unlock a lot of the, the stagnant energy that we've been holding on, which causes, inflammation and disease and illness and whether it's physical or mental. And so to be able to use your body in a way that can actually release a lot of that tension and that blocked energy 
is really the goal. That is just beautiful. So how did you get into dancing in the first place? Because oh my I goodness. <laughs> met you, obviously, you know, I heard so much about you and going on your Instagram, I was just like, wow, like she, so many followers and she's just so energetic. And so I Googled you and I saw all of these amazing dance choreographies you were doing with your brother as well. Yes. So tell us about that. How, how did it all start to really take off? I mean, dance is sort of a family affair for us because we grew up, I'm the baby of five kids and we grew up just dancing constantly in our homes where we, we really used that as a form of connection. And then eventually when I was 10 years old and my brother was 13, we're the, the youngest of our siblings, we moved to London and without our family and we trained in ballroom and Latin dancing and became world champions and um, traveled all around. And then eventually I moved back to, to, the United States and decided I wanted to be in the entertainment business. And so I moved to LA. I was on Dancing with the Stars and um, as a professional dancer and won a couple of seasons on that. And then just from there, just kind of, you know, my career took off in a different way. Um, my brother and I choreographed a couple pieces that uh, we won Emmys for. And so, yeah, it's just, to me, I really do believe that we all have unique superpowers and we have many of them, um, but I really do believe that dance is mine and that I'm able to uh, translate certain things that sometimes I don't necessarily know how to articulate with words and I can translate that with movement. Wow, that's, that's, that's mm -hmm. an impressive story, I must say. At such a young age, already knowing what you want and you really keep clear of the path and you just do it. That is just, it's really powerful. And I think uh, young people listening to this, it's such an important message to really go ahead with what you want. If you really believe that is the way, right? Yeah. And, you know, I will say it hasn't always been an easy journey. Um, I had a goal in mind and I, I worked really hard for it. I have a, an incredible work ethic. I was kind of raised that way to have it. Um, and then I got burnt out because I started dancing. I started performing because it was a passion for my soul expression. And then everything became about being the best and winning. Mm -hmm. And if I wasn't winning, I was losing. And so it took the joy out of what my passion was. And so I had to stop for a second, pause, and then rediscover that passion. And so now whether it's dancing, whether it's building a business, whether it's hanging out with friends and family, I, I always question what is my intention behind this? So what is my, my, my passion behind my purpose? If there's no passion behind the purpose, then I'm not doing it for the right reasons and I have to reevaluate. So it's been, a, it's been a wave of emotions for sure. It always hasn't been easy, but I always come back to myself to pause for a second and just reevaluate what the intention is. And that's really what Kenergy is about to help you come back to that truth. Cause you already know, you know. Wow. So talking about Kenergy then, um, what, because you have been traveling all over the world over the last months before mm -hmm. COVID-19 happened, which we're also going to get into very briefly later. But um, tell me, how was that experience also to work with Oprah Winfrey, uh, which obviously a lot of people are like, what, Oprah? <laughs> like everyone says there is 99% and there's <laughs> one Oprah. Like it's just Oprah, right? And, and also, what was your biggest audience? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, it was incredible. That was actually the launch of Kenergy was to go on this uh, nine city tour around the United States with Oprah Winfrey, uh, Miss Oprah Winfrey. And um, it was incredible. It was a day of wellness. And so we were able to share Kenergy, get people up and moving. And it was between 15 and 20,000 people every, every stop, every tour date. So we ended up getting about 135,000 uh, people all together in, you know, a few, a few months and to be able to, you know, be on stage because I'm a performer to be on stage and share something, um, that is my passion is one thing, but then to have everybody collectively as like one unit with 20,000 people doing the same moves with the same intention, 
it was like the most electric experience I've ever felt. And, and that's where, you know, my, all of my, you know, my life up until my thirties was all about me and what fulfilled me. And then at about 30, I thought, what is my contribution to the world? And how do I, how do I mesh and mold my passions and my purpose? And that's where Kinergy came. So yeah, we were on tour with, with Oprah. I mean, put talk about putting it out there last year. I was like, it would be so amazing to work with Oprah. And then of course this happened. So, um, I'm eternally grateful and she has been obviously someone I've looked up to forever. And then to be able to really be, um, endorsed by her, you know, she always says, she's like, I hate working out, but I love this. (laughs) Um, because it's not really a workout. It's expanded fitness. It's, it's mind body connection. Um, in a way that people don't usually feel that expressed when they work out. No, it's true. When I, when I tried Kinergy for the first time and also doing it at home now with your videos, which brings us to, this was pre-corona. So um, now during Corona, um, so I'm doing it at home and it's quite amazing and it's intense. And sometimes, you know, it's just also about letting it go, you know, let yourself go. Because even me, when I do it, sometimes I get really stuck up because I'm afraid to just let my body move. And I think um, so now during Corona, how is that for you? Because Kinergy is something that was made to be experienced in a big group. So how are you dealing with COVID-19? Yeah, you know, it was definitely like everyone else, a bit of a rejigger of how we're going to bring Kinergy to the world. We had plans to have all these different pop-ups around the country and then going to London and all sorts of things because human connection is so important to our values. And then, you know, we realized the best thing that you can do in a situation like we are all in right now is to wake up with purpose. And that the fact that I'm able to wake up and serve by sharing free content for people in a time when they are so uncertain and so afraid and so at risk and so um, feeling isolated, whatever the feeling is that we are all going through, it's it's what Kinergy is made for, is to help people feel centered and, and connected to themselves and to others. And so it, we realized, you know what, let's just Let's just send it out. Let's just start, um, you know, connecting with people and giving them the opportunity to um, experience Kinergy. And you know what? It's it's a very forgiving time because look, we're like in our houses, and it's not this like fancy production. But that's what's real. That's what's raw. That's what people connect to is like this personal connection. As far away as we are, this is more personal sometimes than being in a stadium with 15,000 people. And so um, so it's been a, a huge blessing. I, I, I feel guilty as well saying that, that this is a blessing. But, you know, I feel uh, an incredible responsibility and not in a pressure way, but a responsibility to, um, to, to give people tools and access and resources for them to feel um, just like they can breathe, you know? And I think that that's what I'm very excited about during this time is that, um, hopefully Kinergy is a trusted resource for people to come together and engage as a community and also connect. That's beautiful. I make sure I put the link below as well on uh, about Kinergy so people can yeah. all explore it all over the world. Love, yes, we would love to. And the whole thing is about just like playing full out and like being a kid again. You know, the one thing that about this whole COVID-19, um, you know, pandemic is that it's it's bringing up a lot of things that I think we we have suppressed for a long time or we've ignored or we've distracted ourselves with. And we fortunately don't have those distractions anymore. And so um, it's giving us an opportunity to to clean our slate and really decide what's truly important, what's not, and to let those things go. And I just think about being a child and like kids just play. And like when we can have that childlike wonderment, we can create magic from that place. 
Well, I can definitely relate to that. I have experienced it myself and I cannot wait for the listeners who have not yet experienced Kinergy to get to experience it, hopefully <laughs> soon. So our time has sadly already run out. Oh, I could talk to you forever about Kinergy, but also I, I will sidebar, we'll have a conversation about how you're doing. <laughs> yes, yes, we will, we will. So before I let you go, very briefly, what is your message to the listeners right now in these turbulent, uncertain times? My, my message or my encouragement would just be to go within. This is, um, this, this is not something that we may experience again in our lifetime. And are we taking this time to really be intentional? And so just finding intent in everything that you do and um, really just, I believe it's going back to Kinergy, but when you can connect to yourself and really be intentional with yourself and what you're putting out into the world, you can then really shift the way that you experience your relationships with people, um, the way you do business, um, and then you can really shift the world that way from the inside out. Beautiful. Well, for my heart, for my living room, for my garden to you, I love you and I miss you so much. Thank you so much for this time. And uh, we keep going. I miss you too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for listening to this Zoom O'Clock. We hope this discussion was insightful and has provoked some new ideas for you. Please share and subscribe. If you like to keep in touch with your host, you can find her on Instagram under Tessie underscore from underscore Luxembourg and on Twitter under Tessie underscore DE. <laughs>